Welcome to the stream, if you're watching later on YouTube. Thanks for clicking, hope you're enjoying. So I have 40 Koroks left. Um, one thing I'll get to very quickly today, because I don't believe all of them are here. I just, I think I'm gonna have to backtrack. That's just the reality of it. But, um, I looked on the map, the whole map, by the way. On spots where are obvious that there's one. So, this one was one. There's three cactus here. And then, I mean, to confirm the fact that I'm doing backtrack, I don't know how I missed this one, but there's one here. So... There's one here that I missed. And the one at the very top, I swear I got it, but maybe there's a safe point thing. Or maybe I just didn't climb all the way to the top. Anyway, there's one here. I know this for a fact. So there's already... Two. But I imagine there's more. So I have an approach that I'm going to take to this, but... We'll get to that later. For now... Alright, I'll go over the approach a little bit. The approach is, I'm going to just do the Gerudo to the best of my abilities. And then after that, because if you look, if I, like, let's say there's, I don't know, five or six. Yeah. Let's say there's five or six. That means there's about 24, 24, 25 remaining. Elsewhere. Which means I just... I guess it, excluding certain areas, because there's ones that I'm just, until I, unless I get, you know, desperate. If I assume each, we're talking like big area, right? Like, you know, Central Hyrule, Hebra, Elden, Akala, Lanayru, Nakluda, and Farron, right? So how many is that? That's like... That's six. Seven. Seven. Seven regions. So if I assume there's like, say, three per region that I've missed, which is honestly fair enough, it could happen. I just look for three spots in each tower that I think maybe I just didn't do thoroughly enough. But I think the big one's gonna be Lanero slash um, Hatino around that region, because I know, like, I was straight up. Particularly around Mount Lanayru. Like, look at this. Um, I know that Lanayru is very light on it, so I'm not going to go overboard, but see, like, here, for example. And maybe along here? I don't believe... These ridges, I'm not checking. But anywhere, maybe here as well, there's one, potentially. Just anywhere where there's sort of a, a landing spot, like even here, that could be one. But I'm not going to go overboard with it. Um, that is probably going to be like a one where I've, I know I've missed a few. But we'll we'll get to that later. There's a way forward. But yeah, I, I think it'll just be getting to the tower. I'm going, alright, well, what's realistic in this area? I mean, I'm, it looks like I'm going to have to head north anyway, so, like, I think the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to do the Gerudo Desert, right? And then... I was kind of looking... I know there's a Lionel here, but... Like, even this isn't, isn't that clean. But, I mean, either way, I'm, I'm heading in this direction first. So we'll, we'll figure it out. I think the only area that I'm, like, pretty confident there's nothing is pretty much, uh, like, this patch here. Just this, this region, before you get to Death Mountain. Like, that is one of the areas that I am extremely confident in that I got everything. Because it's, there's just nothing there. There's... There's nothing. Hmm. I wonder if the Mulduga... Because it's right next to this oasis. I just wonder if the Mulduga is still dead or do if I have to do it again. Okay, 
Now let me see. I mean, I don't want to mess with the Mulduga too much, but... Okay, let's go inwards now. Ooh, but that is where the beast is headed. head into the cloud area too much. Okay, the battle music hasn't started, so that's fine. Oh, so that's Gerudo Town. I mean, let's, let's head in a straight line to Gerudo Town and then come back. Just to, I guess, form the perimeter. Because I don't want to look pretty much where this divine base is running, which is like this area here. I don't want to look anywhere near it. That's the area that I, I rule out, pretty much. It's just there's no need to look there. Just got to be careful. But then check anything that's kind of... Kind of looks like there's something. I mean, most of this, I think, is just... Oh, okay. I was going to say just combat for the, uh... Moldega. There you go. One. Yeah, there's a few assumptions I'm going to make in terms of backtracking. Um, I'm going to assume this area is like I've, I've done my work. So this is the one I can't do. Hey! Yeah, only for those that have proven themselves in a race, it's fine. Yeah, so I can't get to that spot that's there. It's fine. Go along the perimeter. Oh, there's one. This is just scary because this one's kind of... It's alright. As long as I don't get over there. Oh, 
wait for it to walk by. Sixty-two. Hopefully, it doesn't track me. Just hide. Should be okay. <laughs> okay. Uh. Now I've got my perimeter. Pretty much, yep. That, that more or less forms a circle around it. So now I'll just go back and go the other way. I mean, either way, what am I going to do? Like, I can't walk in there, so I can't check in there. So I just have to trust that what I remember, that there's no Koroks in that immediate spot where the beast was walking, to be correct. The desert's not that complicated. Like, I was surprised when everything was said and done the first time I played it. That, oh, huh. There wasn't really that much complexity to the desert. There's a skeleton over there. There's likely, there's likely one over there. What else have we got in the vicinity? Uh, I mean, random pillars, potentially. These two. There's a line of trees here. Ooh. There's another. I mean, cacti. I get the feeling the pillars aren't important because they're just leading to that shrine, but we'll see. <sighs> These things are such assholes. That's not what I was trying to do. I'm also very surprised they haven't caught on yet. Second time it's done this to me, like putting it on an enemy camp. These ones are here to tease me.
Oh, yeah, that's not going to have a core up. That confirms it's not going to have one. This might, though. Oh, and that's a chest. these things. Why can they keep up with me? Still not selling anything new. Strange. Okay, well, that way. Just keep going. It's fine. Okay, that's that one done. Uh, let's keep going in this direction. Because eventually I should be able to see the, the sort of S path I should be following. How's it looking? Uh, I mean, sort of, I guess. I don't really see it yet. Okay, that's the next stop. It should become obvious. Yeah, oh, no, I already see it, I already see it. I already see it. One dead ahead. That's kind of obnoxious. awkward to climb. No! Ah! Oh. I was not expecting it to be that quick. Okay, that's another one. Good. 
Wait, that skeleton over there. I missed a skeleton? This way. Oh, there's a shrine over there as well. I just realized. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything here. What else is a landmark around here? This is the only place I have to take somewhat legit. Over there. I still have to go back for the one over there, but that's okay. Constantly here. Yeah. This is it, right? So this is the next significant landmark. Okay, there's a skeleton over there. I think as long as I do that, it's enough. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. Um. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I know there's nothing there. I saw it there. Okay. Cut the sweat. See if I can go pick up a sand seal as well. It'll make this less tedious.
me climb. Not all the way up, but just enough for it to be like, yeah, ooh. This one's pretty high up. Like this one would have gone off by now. Right, let's just roll it out. This is worth it. I think this one, I just, I'll check the posts and nothing else. This one, I doubt it would have it, but I'll just walk up to it. Further up the hill, I think I'm confident I've done it. Okay. Yeah, I should do for here, for now. Just gotten too hot. Okay. Landmark. Let's see. This doesn't look very landmarky. Oh, there we go. There's some more skeleton stuff. Doesn't seem likely, but I'm gonna just good measure it.
Yeah, I just think no matter how far I think I've been, it's, I, when I was looking at the map, I could just, there's some areas where I'm like, yeah, there's probably stuff there I should go check. And then there's others where it's just, uh, I hope it's not there. I think I got close enough to that. Yeah, this is a camp, but I walked through it just because there's already been a couple times where there's been one at a camp. Okay, uh, keep heading straight ahead. What's that over there? Already been to that one? Alright, go. from this one. As long as I walk through anything that looks like ruins, it's all good. Okay, now to these trees, wherever that is. That way, I think it's over there. It's headed towards more Duga territory. I mean, I think I'm going to have to fight this one regardless. Yeah, this is a shrine here. I remember this. Which means there's no Korok here. It's 
time to fight. So see here, I can now... Because we've got time. This is the defense. You know what, just wait. go the other, the opposite path of this. <laughs> Holy crap, it's bodied that thing. Yeah, okay. Got destroyed. That was that was excellent. I didn't use anything really. And I got my sword replaced as well. Doga. There was it. That's another one. Yeah, no, we want the crit one. Oops. Side, I should give up. officially all the shrines done at least the ones that I can do the only two that remain are the the song and the uh the race Just replace it. It's fine.
You know, I might be done with this desert after I head south. Yeah, I didn't realize how quickly you could just destroy that Moldugo. Look, I think an even quicker way is just get the hit in, stasis, and then just... Probably... Ooh. Oh, this is annoying. Wow, dick. Talk about being obnoxious. Um, stasis and then just bomb arrow the crap out of it. Another Mulduga territory. Honestly, I should just deal with that. Okay, do it again. I don't have the high end attack one this time. Wasn't too bad. <laughs> Just a shield, but that's all right. Now I'm free to explore this area. That's the important thing. Oh wait, there was another one. <laughs> eh. It's unfortunate. <gasps> no. No, no. Gotta hit your eye as quick as possible. Wow, that's unlucky. The blood moon rises. 
these once again. Please be careful. That's that's annoying. So as long as I stay away from it. It's out a little bit further south. Oh, why? being really annoying right now. Okay, go this way. I guess as long as there's no other Mulduga territory. I'm just trying to see. Yeah, so there's the S shape that I'm talking about. So it would mean there should be another one here. Yeah, there's the S shape I'm talking about. So I can already see it. But isn't there a... We already got the one that's a skeleton. Okay. There should be another one along this S shape. That it sort of forms. I mean, maybe the one that I pointed out is the one. Almost met up with it. Okay, go back. Sucks because now that Oasis isn't safe anymore. It's now Mulduga infested. These things are so annoying. Okay, here's one. Yeah, ha ha. Okay. This is gonna be hard now. Sorry, I'm just saying what's around. 
Where's the oasis? The oasis is over there. Okay, uh, let's see, it's so hard to tell. This way. Okay, this would be leading it in the direction. Oh, but, no, but that's Mulduga. Yeah. I honestly doubt. Because even the other one didn't have- none of the Mulduga pits have one, technically, except... ...the, uh, the Oasis, but that's because it's an Oasis. As long as it's forming an S-shape, that's all I remember, and if it's top-to-bottom S-shape, I don't need to bother. in the mood to fight that thing again. Yeah. yeah, so this is the bottom of the map now, so let's have a look if it forms a logical S-shape. Hang on. Without that. Hold up. What is this next to this? Is that Mulduga? I can't tell what that is. <laughs> I'm going to regret it if I don't check. I'm going to check. It's honestly not that hard to beat this asshole. I just hate it. this thing. Alright, there we go. Hopefully this is the last time I'll have to fight this thing. Okay. Let's get back to this. Treasure chest, really? No, there it is. Ah, that's a disappointment. I was kind of hoping for a sword. I mean, unless there's one in the middle there, then yeah. 
There is. Okay. Glad I did this. Then I've done every Mulduga pit. I think. Hang on, let me look. I mean, that's the Southern Oasis, which is a Mulduga pit, so I've done that. Um, so let's see. Does it form an S shape? Sort of? What's hang on. Let me look where it goes. Oh yeah, no. Keeps going. Keeps going. Yep. And turn in. Yep. That looks like an S shape to me. I think I'm pretty happy with this. I can't imagine I've missed anything. Let's look. Because these are just Mulduga pits. Except the Dragon's Exile. Oh no, but that's just near the skeleton. It shouldn't matter. I just don't want to... I was lazy with Lanaru, but this one genuinely... There's no reason to explore it. Okay, what about over here? How have we done over here? I think this is fine. That's Naboros' area. That's... I can't imagine that I've missed anything. Because this desert is just very empty. Okay. Now, which way do I go back? I think it's probably easier to continue this way. Head to the back and go off to the side. Well, oh, can't say they don't do any fighting. I'm also very surprised. That other Mulduga stuff went smoothly. Okay, follow the path. Well, I guess it's time to employ, um, yeah, the strategy. So we are heading north first. But I guess I'll go out this sideway and just clean up anything along the mountains that I see. So I'll go up to the part where we need to climb the Rito area. And then I'll take a look. That's, once I get to Rito the Rita area, um, that's when I will start looking. I guess I'll, I'll look at places where I feel like there's high value. Yeah. 
I think this is funny. This is gonna be a straight line along the bottom. As long as I just so I don't go astray and accidentally head into the Divine Beast. following the line until it clears up It's not cleared up. That's fine. Keep going. This looks like I'm doing something dumb, but this is just... Okay, nearly there. I think... I don't know if I'm imagining that, but I can see the hills in the distance. I'm surprised this sandstorm hasn't ended. This is probably the longest it's gone for. to the Korok.
I think it would clear up soon. This is just, uh, be certain. actually held out this whole time. There we go. Finally. Okay, so the large assumption I'm going to make is just I'm not returning to the desert. If the if after all this there is still stuff missing, then I'll return. But for now, I'm trusting that I did it all okay. I just kind of have to trust that. This southwest corner is going to be the one of, uh... Like, I'm only going to look here once I'm out of options, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. It's too much of a pain in the ass to climb. Let's go this way. <laughs> Darn, it's not going to chase me. I'm coming up this way because it also gives coverage here, so... But I mean, the perimeter of the labyrinths don't really ever have anything. So, okay. Hold on. What I, So what core account am I up to? I'm up to 370. So there's, there's 30 that are unaccounted for. Because I have two that are accounted for. The one that I spotted that I missed. Because it's a rock formation. That is confirmed. That is one. And then the other one, which is like at the top of Rito. So... That is a, a pretty round number. But if, let's say, between the two regions... Between, sorry, between the seven regions... I assume that there's two that I've missed. That's seven regions excluding Gerudo.
Or even... Hang on. Three? I'll try and aim for three per area, and then we'll see how we go. Although I might lean a bit heavy on um, Lanayru and uh, around Hateno. I just get the feeling there's like a high density of shit that I missed. <laughs> there's also the, the Twin Peaks, I think, walking that, that shelf that I kept talking about, but I just never walked along it. I would bet that there's something there. I'm trying to think of other spots where, like, I, I was either too lazy or said I was going to do it later. I've been thinking pretty hard about it. There's also the possibility that Hyrule Castle still had something, because... Like, that eastern area was kind of uncovered, and I assumed, uh... Oh yeah, it's because of all the sludge on top, but then something occurred to me is, like, there's also indoors. And I don't think I went inside the eastern area much for the indoors part. So I might have to go to Hyrule Castle one more time. The west side of Hyrule Castle seemed fine, because if we look at it... Like, that west area is pretty well covered. Um... You know, I doubt there'd be anything along this, because there's no landmarks. But then see... Pretty much from the here, like, the peak of that, and then along here... Like, this, this, this part here worries me. Because I feel like that could be indoors. Because there's not a lot of coverage there, and I don't think I went in... I think there's like an eastern entrance somewhere here in these walls, and I just didn't go into it. Because I looked, I guess I just didn't hear anything go off, so I looked at it as, oh yeah, this is fine. And then when I looked at the map later, I was like, oh yeah, no, that should be enough. That There's just sludge on top. But I thought about it. It's not just the. That's why I hate that map, because it becomes a based map. Like a divine base 3D map, and you can't tell the Koroks anymore. I feel like it should have kept that, but also still let you switch to the classic map. I mean, maybe it, maybe it does. Maybe that's something that I just didn't see. Next time I'm there, I'll see if I can swap to a view, and that might help. But I think that's, that's why that's... Yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there was something that I didn't get there. I, I'm... Positive it's not going to be on the outside, it's going to be on the inside, if anything. I'm not saying I'm positive that there's one there. It's just I'm positive if there is going to be one there, it's going to be on the inside. So I think that's where I'll focus my attention if I'm desperate and I have to go back. I don't, this is just thinking if I run out of options. I'm also going along here because this is another spot where I was like, okay, a little lazy. I need to climb here. So already I'm thinking desperation mode, but this is like a... Well, I'm already here, I may as well climb. I think this plan is good. Who knows? <laughs> Sometimes on the way to a place, I'll notice something like the one that I got, um, I think it was yesterday, yeah. At the bridge, at the, the plateau. Like, I thought I was pretty thorough with the plateau, but then I noticed a spot. So I think a bit of that will happen is as I'm going, I'm going to be checking the map, and if I see something, that spot that looks like, hmm, I really should have checked that. I'm going to go check it now.
down there is. Okay. I think that that's good now. I'm too high. See. Oh, there's already a Korok here. It's like unlikely there's anything here. Wait, did I just not? I guess I just didn't notice it. Oh no, it's one, one more, one more up. Okay. Good. trigger cold resist so I just want to brute force this a little it's just a shelf here that's the only suspicious part but if I've seen nothing oh cool it goes back to normal here then yeah we're good deal with that. Okay. I mean, this is another area that I'm, like, pretty safe that there's nothing. Yeah, good. Yep, so many skeletons. Yep, no, that's... That's great game. This one is like, oh, okay, that is why. I 
I'm good. Some of these are going to be unfortunate because, well, I won't have the marker for the, the boss. This one? I have. Okay. So I saw that from a distance. Wasn't sure. Look at that. I suppose there is a disadvantage to the high ground sometimes. The fuck is up with this one? one nearby. Oh. Hey, hey, Colorin, how's it going? There it is. Okay. Eight sixty nine. Okay, where am I going from here? It's almost Friday, it is, yeah. Just looking forward to it. So that's Lionel territory that way, which is fine. But I want to go down and along here. Even though this area was disappointing, I just have a feeling maybe I missed something. Yeah, I'm almost there, but like I'm backtracking because I'm pretty positive I'm done with the Gerudo area. But the other thing is as well... Uh, just checked before I started streaming. See if I could point out any obvious ones, and I missed an obvious one here. And also the one at the top of the Rito thing, which I swore I got, but I guess I didn't. So I'm gonna have to head in that direction. And then once I get those two, I guess I'm gonna try and go around the map, and I'm gonna mark at least three spots per tower where I think, okay, I haven't been thorough. And I guess that's how I'm going to approach it. Because there's, there's no way that there's any more in the Garuda area. Or if there is, there's like one. It's, it's not worth looking there anymore. So we'll see. Not sure how well this is gonna go. I'll get it. Yeah. I just hope it doesn't drag out. That's the problem, is like when you get down to these last few ones, it could be that this works out, or it could be that this is like the next four days, and I really don't want it to be that. The next four or five days. I've done all the shrines I can do, so I can't do shrines anymore. I just did the last one just before, so... 
The only two shrines that remain are behind Divine Beasts. I can't do them until I kill the Divine Beasts. If I was to take a guess, it... I think most of the ones I'm missing are going to be around the Lanero Hatina area. In that southeastern pocket, because that mountain I really w did not... Because I, I remember just how empty it was. So I would imagine there's at least three there that I've missed, if not four. I remember there was a small number of them, but I think I looked at it and I'm like, you know what? I didn't really find that many on that mountain. Like, if I look at it again. So, let's see. One. Two. That doesn't count. Three. Four. That doesn't really count. So I've only found four on that mountain, which that can't be right. I know that was a small amount, but it wasn't four. You got stuck at the shrine where you have to shoot an arrow through two holes and it was not working out. You're wasting so many arrows. Yeah, for me, I had to shoot a few times. It was only when I shot it with a, a single shot arrow because the multi-shot bow for some reason just wasn't working. Nothing else I've uh, gotten all the shrines, so all the shrines are accounted for. Didn't have to look anything up for a shrine. I only have had to look up one Korok and it was that stupid bridge one. I have to go back to it when you get more arrows. Yeah, I'm just constantly buying arrows from Beetle whenever I see him. That's all I spend my money on. But yeah, we'll uh, see how this goes. <laughs> it might be a bit boring. The only combat I did was before I, I had to kill three Muldugas. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm like, I'm pretty positive this area, this is done. Because this, this sort of circle thing, that's where the beast is, there is nothing there. I know this for a fact. So really, it just leaves the Mulduga pits, which I've done, and then it's just whenever, wherever I see ruins. So I'm like positive I've done this correctly. You got your brother playing the game. He didn't like it at first. Now he's getting into it and got the Master Sword. Oh. Yeah, I mean... I can understand how it's it's a bit strange to some. It's just because you're walking around a lot. But once you see how the world works and your connection to it, how you can just make a bunch of stuff happen, it's fun. I just, just want to make sure I get this done before next week. I don't have much time left. This is, uh, yeah... Okay, just trace the edge, and I'm gonna drop down that way. Feels like all you're going is shrines and walking. Yeah. But it's the stuff that happens in between that stuff that makes the game. 
down here, right? Sort of. Hang on. I need to adjust. Yeah, I need to get the master sword at some point. Could have could have technically at any any point so far, but I feel like I need to make it so I'm worthy of earning that sword. I mean, you could say I am now. It's like... I've done 118 of the shrines. Can you do it with three hearts? No. I have to spend some of the orbs to get the sword out, but then, I, of course, I can go um, to the thing in Hatino to get rid of the orbs and claim them back to get three hearts again. So there is a way back to three hearts. But you can only pull out the sword with, uh, I forgot the number. I'd have to look it up, but there's a minimum. And it's red hearts, not temporary hearts as well. They gotta be full hearts. Thirteen? Yeah, probably. So, the places that I'm not gonna, uh, like, these are, like, last resort. Last resort that I'm gonna look in these areas. The, the plateau is one. The Gerudo Desert is two. This stupid lake and its bridge, number three. Not, not looking here, unless I'm absolutely desperate. Hang on, where am I going from here? Oh shit, I should have gone back. Because I wanted to cut up... There's like... Where did I see it? There was some stuff along here that I, I was like, hmm... Yeah, I should probably redo that, like here. This, this right here, that I'm not happy about. I don't, I can't believe I let that slide. There's probably a reason, but it just... This is it. That would probably be one that, yeah. It's it's kind of like yesterday when I saw the one up here. I was like, this entire corner was just empty. And I was like, oh no, there's something there. And there was, so. Once I get to the Rito area and I get the one that I know is at Rito, then I'm going to look. I'm going to look uh, at each tower area. And I'm going to try and pick three spots from each tower area to go, okay, I, I wasn't thorough. And then roll with that. So visit each area at least once more. But the areas that I'm going to ignore a little more, it's going to be the Garuda area, because I just did it and I'm pretty confident. The area around Lake Hylia, because I spent an extra amount of time there because that's stupid Korok. 
Um, I'm like a central Hyrule to some degree, but maybe not around the castle. I got the feeling I'm going to have to go back to the castle one more time because that map is just really hard to interpret. Um... But that'll, again, that's like a last resort. Like if I'm short, I don't know, like a very small number, that's when I'll be like, okay, let's just pay the castle one more vi visit. I know, I know what side I'd be looking at. It'd be the east side, not the west side. How many are left? Uh, let me look again. Twenty-nine, because two of them are accounted for. So yeah, thirty-ish. But that's the way I'm going to approach it is, regardless of how I identify, it's going to be Hebra first, because I'll be in that area, then Lanaru slash Hatino, then Farron, and then anything north of Lanaru. So like, you know, Elden and Akala. And then, then we get into the area of like, okay, now I'm desperate. Where am I looking in Central Hyrule? Where am I looking in the desert? Where am I looking around the lake area? That's that's my plan. So I'm only going to be back here if I'm extremely desperate. And I can't seem to find the last few. I doubt I've, I've missed any in, he in he the Hebra area, but... I wouldn't be surprised if there was one. It's just that area is very wide and it's kind of hard to do it properly. Because you have to keep up the cold resist and that entire time I was just worried I was going to run out of it. So I'm sure there's, there's parts in there that I just didn't do well. So... Oh, and yeah, another area I was thinking of was the... The area with the big trees that look like mushrooms. Yeah, I mean, with any luck, they're just all going to be in one area, but I think the way it's spread out, honestly, like, I, I think it's going to be, it's going to be a case of nope. They're just going to, unfortunately, be, be uh, yeah. be spread out. It's just because there's, there's like a large amount of them, that's all. If there was something like five, if I, it was un, if I was at to the point where I was un, there was only less than ten remaining, then I'd believe, okay, it's likely that they're in a couple of regions and I don't have to look at the whole map. But because it's about thirty, that leads me to believe that I've missed like one or two per area. Is there anything above me? Oh, shit, there is. Oh, shit. Look at this. There's like... Okay, hold on. I just looked up there. This might be something. Yeah, why would there be something that looks like a walkway around the whole thing? And you know what? The other one that I, I mentioned a long time ago that I'm I'm like 
I'm 80% sure there's going to be one is here, how there's, there's a walkway here. So I did this walkway. I did one of them, but there's like a shelf that you can walk along here under the mountain. I actually haven't done both, so I should probably do both. But this, this path here, that's high ground, but not really high ground, I need to do. And I bet I'm going to find one or two there. Now that I look at that again, I thought it was just the bottom one, but it's the top one as well. But that's on the, uh, that's on the Hatino Lanero side, so it falls under the area that I think I'm going to find the most. Oh, these aren't even shells, I don't know. I'll still keep climbing, because... Yeah, I mean... Okay. Got plenty of stamina food. <laughs> it's just, I know this, this isn't the most exciting thing. This is just a stream where I'm gonna be nitpicking. They look like shells, but there's definitely a shelf to the right. I'll know when I get close to it. I've been saved. I guess it's it's just over there. <laughs> it's okay, you're working. Gotta get something on the bus in a few. That's fair. I guess in, in just the context of other people maybe watching this later as a VOD. It's just, well, you had fighting at the start, so... I guess just... Hope that this doesn't become a wild goose chase. I don't know. Okay. Well, this is... This is the shelf. Sometimes the map is just really deceiving. This might not be anything. Oh, ha ha ha, ha ha. Okay. Twenty eight remain. I mean, thirty technically now, but yeah, ha ha. Okay, uh, let me look. Well, this just keeps going, doesn't it? I doubt there's gonna be another one here. Oh, there was a little br- Yeah, ooh, yeah. See, this one? Wow, I should not have missed this one. This one- Oh, you asshole. The fact that there's a little bridge that leads you to it. I mean, it makes sense. I kind of got to the end here, and then I turned around. Um, okay, so there's a spot below. Alright, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go across, and then just go over the... the bridge to come back. It's fine. Okay, there was nothing here. It's funny because this is where I thought I should go, down here. But there's also up here. Which I guess I need to 
go up the hill to get there. But it was the same with that other spot. It's... I was thinking of somewhere else that I thought, oh no, that was bad, and then I find one anyway, but just not in the spot I thought. Oh, well, it's fine. I'm not dead. It's just thought I could get to shore, but this is probably better. I can probably glide over to the spot that I want to get, maybe. here. This will be it, right? Yes. This is... Uh, no! Oh! That was drift. That was controller drift. It turned me around. I took my hand off the analog stick for a second and it started walking Link downwards. Gotta love the drift. What what drift? Nintendo said that drift is not a widespread issue. Why would they lie? <laughs> they would never lie to us. <laughs> Companies would never lie. There's the truth and the truth. Ah. <laughs> uh. Bats. Really? Two, two lots of bats? Two lots of bats? That's what's about to happen? Oh, shit. What's that even, though? Where's the star fragment? I saw a star fragment. It fell somewhere in central Hyrule. Hang on. I forgot to check this map if I was being... Oh yeah, and this stable also money, money, money stable. There's something else. I was like, hmm, maybe there's something here, like a dive. Nope. I am, yeah, I'm low on money. Oh. 
Oh. I need to raise 10,000 rupees. I could very well just raise a bunch here because of uh, the guy. Yeah, I don't know. Really? Where? The corner. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, so far this has been pretty successful. There was also this hill, but I doubt there's anything here now that I've gotten one just here. Hey, I'll be happy if I can get, by if by the end of tonight I can get it down to say fifteen. I'll be happy. That's half of uh, the remaining ones. Okay, uh, was. Morning. Wait, I waited till morning. kind of tedious, but I need the money. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. Hey. Mainly because, yeah, I want to buy some stuff from Beetle. This stuff from him. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, I just looked at the time as well. It's like been two hours, so I think this is a good time to do an intermission. So I just found the Korok. Plus, it'll let me think a little, so I'm gonna think. <laughs> Go through past streams in my head and think where I, I may have missed one. But uh, I'll be back in a couple minutes. I just want to also refill my water bottle because it's empty now. So give me two to five minutes and we'll return. But if you're watching later on YouTube, this is where I say bye YouTube. Thanks for watching. And consider doing that fun algorithm stuff if you want to support. All right. See ya.